Walsh has got the ball um, in, in his hand here, the kind of spin ball. Yep. How, how, use, how useful was that, particularly when he started getting his feet right? I think it's brilliant in the sense that it moves late. Yep. And it actually forces you to react to it. Whereas with a spinner, sometimes you see it all the way. And you can't actually pick up sometimes which way it's going to spin. If, you, if you're mixing it up, for example, you have to really concentrate on the ball, see which side it's got the holes in it. Um, and so in terms of your movement, does that mean well, you've, got to, you've got to stay down for longer, you've just got to watch it that little bit harder, your decision yeah. making happens a bit later? I think, yeah, I think it's that, it's that delaying all your movements. Actually, with keeping, if you go too early with your movements, it becomes a lot harder. Actually, if you delay them and react, that's what we're what, got renowned for doing, reacting quickly. So yeah. actually, if you delay reactions and use the ball like this, it really helps. And from a feeder's point of view, you just go a little bit to get the hang of it, but once yeah. you do, you can see it, you can, can kind of control it. Yeah, it's finding the pace and the length that, that gets the best out of this ball, and I mean, it's, it's perfect for perfect for indoors, when he naturally doesn't often spin yeah. an indoor surface, and you know, trying to make the ball spin out, that, a cricket ball spin out the hand is, is hard work, and you don't get the, the extreme that you get from here, which is, which is great. So it keeps keepers working hard, and as Robert said, it's, it's a late movement. Um, you can tell him which way it's going, so he knows he's working with a leg spinner or a left armour, um, or you can, you, know, you can mix it up so he doesn't know.